Culture here guys, how's it going? Um, well you could see I've got a few more Mega Drive pickups for you but a bit of everything again, uh, hopefully it'll be an enjoyable one um, I'll try and whiz through as quick as I can as not to bore you to death because there is a fair bit, we've got eBay, we've got uh, Facebook and we've got Doncaster Market um, had some pretty good deals I've had some cheap pickups and some bloody expensive pickups, uh, and we've had some good friends doing some sterling deals for me again. Uh, there's also it was going to be an unboxing, but I've literally just opened it. It came this this morning um, on a one-day UPS service, best service I've I've sort of had in ages. When the guy said he'd send, he was sending it yesterday. He says it'll be with you tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, whatever. And fucking, it's here. So that's, God knows how much he's paid for that with UPS. I'm guessing it'd be a fair bit. Uh, but where do we start? <sighs> you know, right. I think we'll start. Might have to hop about a bit, actually. We're going to start with, with Doncaster. Uh, and my mate Dainster83. Or as he likes to be known as from today, the original prankster. <laughs> Fucking crazy, crazy fucker. Uh, he did us a, a great deal. So this this deal that he's, he did for me, I should have picked it up a couple of months back at RK Club, but we I don't remember the story. We missed each other. So he's kept hold of it for me till Doncaster. Um, and I've got it, so I've got it now. Um, and it was more real good nostalgic memories from it. I've never owned one of these way back when. And it's the, the Commodore 64, not the bread bin, um, the later model. I don't know if they're known as a, anything specific name-wise, but it's certainly the later model. If it's a, maybe the last, last sort of iteration of the Commodore 64. It's in pretty good, pretty good shape, actually. Um, not too many marks and it's probably it's slight yellowing um, I'll be brutally honest it probably won't get plugged in like most of the stuff in here I've um, got the power brick in here with it I'll get that out and he's and the the Commodore cassette deck um, so it's probably Probably good to go. I know a lot of people that have these Commodore 64 use the, um, you know, the games on a memory card thing, but I can't be asked with all that, so I won't be doing that. It'll probably just be a, you know, a shelf piece up here. Um, but my mate had, my mate Paul had one of these. I had spec he had Commodore 64. Really fond memories playing Emily News International Soccer. That's the only game I can remember playing on it. I remember always comparing when when we used to go to the shop and get these, you know, when they released on eight bit formats these games. Is I was always a little bit jealous. I never, I never told him, but I was always a little bit jealous because I knew Commodore sixty four versions at the time seemed better, seemed better graphics, better color, better sound, all the rest of it. But we know now that the specy versions were better, weren't they? Every time, but back then I was were, I were jealous, I was jealous, but yeah it's good It's good to work, so in all these years it's the first one I've ever owned, uh, yeah I know Paul's got, he's got a boxed one uh, somewhere, I don't know if it's his original or not, but, but not just that, so another 8 better, the hulking piece of fucking 8 bit that it is, the good old CPC 464, now I've had uh, I've given this a decent clean up. It's a little bit fra fragrance, a bit of fragrance to it. Uh, but <laughs> I, I read somewhere on Facebook yesterday someone had bought something and they call it the uh, Curry Edition. It's, it's not as bad as it's not as bad as that, Danny. Don't worry, we're alright. But no, we just do, I think it's a bit like uh, you know cigarette smoke over years or something. I don't know, I don't think Dana's had it all that long ago, I just picked it up along the way, but to give it a decent clean up and it's it's absolutely fine. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if you've tested either of these, it doesn't really matter because like I say, they won't be getting plugged in mate, this will be another 
this will be another sort of shelf, just to sat on the shelf. You know. But I mean, look at this. Do you remember the, the fucking module? I mean, that that must weigh three or four pound in itself. Fucking hell. So I mean, what the where the nostalgia comes from for this is. Um, my nephew had one, so he had the, he had the green screen. I originally wanted the green screen off him as well, which he had the day, but I didn't bother him to end up because I think someone else knew what it was. Someone else wanted that off him. I don't know if he's still got it or not, but um, yeah, he had the green screen. And the game I always remember our Richard playing on was Oh Mummy. Um, and it's in here. It's actually, I think it's in this bundle of games. So I'll just quickly go through games. I think it's the the bunch of games that you got packed in with it at the time because they're all am am soft titles. Um, so the, the, you know the covers are. Just remember them. So Time Man One, I think that's just, yeah, telling the time and setting the clock. Uh, the Galactic Plague. Uh, what's that? Hang anagrams. I was fucking Xanagrams. I don't know how you pronounce it. Roland in the Caves. Uh, I've got Bridget. Roland on the Ropes. Uh, I'm going to drop all these if I'm not careful. Let's chuck them down there. What else we got? Sultan's Maze and oh I remember playing that as well actually Harrier Attack um, and I know mummy but yeah I just remember the theme tune just stuck in my head all them years for that and just playing it for hours and hours fucking green monitor but yeah no thank, thanks for that Dan. I mean it's even we've even got a joystick look can't say fairer than that, can you? So that would have—it did me a good price. And like I say, the you know that's half decent condition anyway. I mean, to be quite honest with you, you know what what constitutes really good condition for someone thirty years old? You're gonna have you're gonna have a bit of wear and tear on them, aren't you? You know, unless they've been literally not used. Anyone. I'm guessing like 99% of these 8 bit machines will have been, will have had, you know, lots of love over the years and had many a kid, um, you know, enjoyment, enjoying them. So that were brilliant with that. Thanks, mate. Uh, another, so yeah, so again, from Doncaster, another friend I've mentioned him before, Rob. Um, Another absolute legend of a guy. Had some fairly, fairly cracking deals off him. Um, in you know in the past, and he's done it again with this. Um, I know he's got a friend. He's got some connections, a uh, mate in Japan who can seems to be able to source all sorts of NTSC goodness. Um, but I'd sure made some pictures had popped up on us on his uh, WhatsApp group, some stuff that he got and I thought, yep, yeah, I'll have one of them mate, I've always wanted one of them, again, never owned one, and it was just nice to finally own one, and this will, up there with the, the master system, the box master system I got off mic, this will take pride of place up there mate as well, and it's the original PC engine. See, I don't mind box with a nice and little like this. You can, you know, you can handle them. It's just some big giant boxes. I've got that no room for. So, um, let's turn the lid off. So there it is. With the controller, lovely condition. I mean, they're absolutely tiny, aren't they? Really nice, really nice, and it's it is in really good condition. It really is. So I'm very very happy to have that, Rob. So thanks ever so much, mate. Again, yet again, another cracking deal from you. Cheers, buddy. Um, 
Right, where should we go next? I don't know. We might as well start on Mega Drive because that's what the bulk of the pickups is. As you know, that's what my, my focus of collecting is at the moment. I haven't quite got kicked off with Sega Saturn NTSC yet. I didn't even buy um, from Japanese Allen or Scotch Allen, whatever the fucking are, I don't know. Scotch Allen at, at Donny Market. He had literally hundreds of NTSC uh, stuff on his table and a big chunk of that Saturn. But I'd already spent loads and loads of money, uh, more money than than I should have done really that day, really quickly. Like they were taking piss. I think I'd spent somewhere in the region of pushing three hundred quid in first hour. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm like, oh right, I better just better just leave it a bit. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't end up getting any, anything off him, and I, I admittedly I'm a little bit for kicking myself uh, afterwards, thinking I should have just bought. But I, I'm still learning, you know. There's, most of the games I've never even heard of, so it, it, the main like messaging people, what's this like, what's that like, and I, and I need to do a bit more research um, before I start buying. I know there's literally boatload of shooters um, and 2D fighters and all sorts so, but I need to get a list together so I know what I'm buying because uh, the, the prices really can vary wild with, with uh, Saturn, NTSC Saturn I, I've noticed that so it would like I say most of the purchases on the day were Mega Drive PAL Mega Drive uh, so where are we? So this, I think these three, I've got them in <laughs> little piles down here, I'm trying to remember. Some of the prices, mo the chunk of the games that I got I bought in bundles to try and keep the price down a little bit, try and get a deal, for, I find that's easiest way to get any money off. If you're going just sort of, going in wanting one game and trying to shave off uh, a chunk of money, you know, it's, it's harder that way. So I try to at least put three, three in a bundle. And then, you know, you've got more higher chance of success getting the price down. So this, I can't remember the sellers. So I'm sorry. Um, this, I'm guessing it's Gold Saucer Games. I don't know the name of the seller though. So but I've got GoldSaucerGames.com if that's what it stalls when they're on us. So this was the first three game bundle. Um, I got one of them. You know when I were there, and he did this for 30, 30 quid, I believe. So two crew dudes. So that one alone was priced up at twenty five. Um, really nice condition, to be fair. Really nice condition. So this was another one I'd been watching um, on eBay. Um, not loads of them. Not not loads of them for sale. Uh, funnily enough, these uh, you know they, you can you can get them. You know, it's not a difficult game to get, but there's not as many as what you'd think. Um, so that were that were a good one to grab. Um, this one, I wish I'd had a bit more time looking at. <laughs> that fucked up, but it's Fatal Fury. Um, I mean the cart and manual wise not no problem whatsoever it's it's on the it's on the inlay it's on the cover so the first thing is i when i first looked at it i thought i thought that would a you know a sticker i could have removed it with my label remover but it isn't it's that what's happened is i think someone's put a sticker on the inside of the plastic and then some dickhead at some point, it looks like, like silver paint or like a, a silver tipex over it so you've absolutely no chance of getting that off so there's that and then the spine probably won't pick it up on here but the spine's faded as fuck, sun's well got to that um, so I might probably look at getting a cover swap for that somehow or you know just 
upgrading at some point. It's only like a ten, you know, this is probably about a ten, ten quid game. This, to be fair, you can, it's a fairly cheap game. Uh, and the third one in the bundle, uh, Mutant League Football. Uh, not to be confused with the absolutely extortionate hot Mutant League Hockey, which I nearly bought, incidentally. The the IN game that I did buy on the day that I chose, I very nearly didn't get that, and I nearly got Mutant League Hockey uh, because they were the same price, and I was like to and fro and Mutant League Hockey on the store were absolutely fucking mint. And I mean mint. But... I ended up going for, I think the, the game I got was about 5 or 10 or cheaper. But I, do, I don't know why, I don't know why this is so cheap. And then, like I say, the hockey, the hockey version, so bloody expensive. I mean this, condition wise, it's an electronic arts one, but, but the box is, the box is absolutely great condition. Manual just a bit, you know, with bent corner there, but no big deal at all. Nice condition to be fair, especially like I say, especially the box. Um, lovely condition that. So yeah, I think I think he didn't. When I'm saying thirty now, did he say thirty? I think thirty must have been a bit, a bit too cheap. Might have been forty then. Like I say, I didn't, I didn't, I should have taken more notice of what I was paying that day, but I just, just had to get rid of that cash. <laughs> I was doing PayPal payments and all sorts. Money were just like fucking. There you go, take it, take it. Um, right, so. Stuart Tooty messaged me, I think the day before, or the day, a couple of days before, and said, I've got this game, do you fancy it? I don't know if you're up. Well, it's obviously a duplicate. Um, but it's, it's complete, do you fancy it? I can't remember how much we agreed with Tenor. Tennis stew, can't remember. Turbo Outrun. So it says, yep. Yeah. Have it all day long, complete with manual. Really nice condition is that one, Stuart. Thank you very much, pal. That'll go next to uh, the original Outrun there. So that's that was sweet. And he also said to me on the way down, he had been trying to message me and ring me and all sorts. Finally got through to me and said, he says, right, I'm, I'm actually there now. Uh, and he said, I've seen two games that I really strongly advise you to get, or I'll get them for you and you just pay me when you get there. So obviously I'm going to... I trust Stuart's judgement all day long. So... Uh, the games were... So this one that he said, the ch I mean, four quid. I've been looking, this is like 20-odd 20, 20 quid, this. And it's pretty rare. There's not many... Uh, certainly on eBay anyway, it's power drive and Stuart had said don't see that many and it's an oddball look with the like um, you see that smaller size manual um, I'm sure when I looked on eBay they were, it was like 25 quid so I don't know if they priced it up in error or they didn't know about it or what but for 4 quid I think you'll agree I've got a pretty, you know, bloody steel there. And the condition is absolutely superb. really is. Superb. And the other game that he got, a bit of a big hitter really, I guess, in a way. Oh, mid, well, should we got middle tier. A middle tier game. For 25 quid, it's, it's true lies. And the condition, like he said, he said on the phone, he says it's more or less mint. And it is. So... I mean, look at that. It hasn't fucking turned a page. So he said to me, when it conditions even better than the one he had. Um, and again, this can be 40, 45. So, good prices. Really good prices. This is what I mean. This is why it's good to go to these markets because you're going to get them a bit, you know, generally cheaper than what you'd be paying. Even than even cheaper than CEX. So what what I should be doing is not buying off eBay at all, saving up the money, and just buying everything at the market. But I'm still buying on eBay like a dickhead. <laughs> 
But thanks, Stuart. Thanks for spotting these, mate. You did a cracking job, mate, and thanks for that turbo outrun as well. Uh, right, what are this? What's this pile? We'll just duck away from Donny for the moment. So we're going to go to eBay. So this were uh, a two game bundle that came up uh, with the best offer on. I can't remember the price. All I know is it were a good deal. Or I wouldn't have got it. And I'll show you why in a minute. So a game that I'd been looking for. Not an expensive game but an, a must have. Uh, for me anyway. Another nostalgic game. Pit Fighter. Really good condition again this. Really good. Nice and complete. Hanging tab. Everything. Spot on. But the second game in the bundle. Now I thought this was just like a. Excuse me. Like a fiver game. A wrestling game. Uh, WF Raw. Now at first glance. You think. Oh, it is complete. That's alright. And to be fair. The manual and car. Are absolutely excellent condition. Now. This game. When I've looked. It's like 20 quid. And it worked out in the in the bundle. I'm sure it worked out at this. For about five or six, seven quid tops. No more than that. But the problem is with it. You probably can't see it. The manual. This sorry. The the cover, the inlay, is completely fucked. And I mean fucked to the point that when I started to, I'm going to take it out. It started crumbling. So I don't know if it's had a bit of moisture, water damage at some point, but can you see on the spine, it's like it's all like biodegrading or something. It's just literally breaking up is the paper. Don't think, it's not a repro. It's not a repro, it's, it's good, it's just... Might have been sat somewhere on a shelf where it's been baked with sun or summer and it's got really hot or it's got wet and dried really quickly, but it's... It's it's pretty knackered. It's one of the worst worst covers I've seen in a long time. That, but anyway, it worked out a good deal, and I got it. And like I say, twenty quid complete that on eBay. Uh, another one, probably jumped the gun, jumped the gun way. And I know I'm even more gutted because I'd already bought this when them two games at Stew run me about. This were on the stall as well for thirty five quid. And he says, do you, want, do you want me to get that as well? And I went, there's no point because I've just bought it off eBay. Uh, and it ain't in great shape, to be fair. It's a bit of a tough one to find. Certainly in the wild anyway. And it's Robocop 3. Not complete. Just the car. I wasn't bothered at the time because it got it for like 20, I think 21 quid posted. Which I thought were a decent deal. But if you look closely, so you've got that chunk out of the front there which would have been all could live with really but even worse really because I'm going to be looking at it is the chunk out of the spine <laughs> so that's a bit of a bummer in it so I might have to do the free CEX swap <laughs> should we call it uh, might, that might be happening Stuart I might have to do that mate along with what's the other game where we said we we're going to do it with where is it we we're going to do he can tell I'm getting a fair few Mega Drive games now and I can't even fucking find which game it is. Um, anyway, it's flicky. Because it's got the it's got the the PAL Mega Drive uh, car and manual, but it's got the, the Genesis cover. So I'm gonna do the same for that. So anyway, yeah. You know how it works, you know how it works. So anyway, it was 21 quid, I guess it end of day eBay prices 40 50 so I don't know it is what it is isn't it so that was that bundle uh, jumping over to Facebook retro realm I look now it'd be galaxy I think this was galaxy Sega actually so I've got two separate sellers here a uh, guy was selling a bundle 
I think the other games it had in the bundle I already had, so I'm only interested in this one. But boy, is this in good condition. So it's Captain America and the, Ad the Adven Avengers, sorry. Really nice condition. Really nice. Really happy with that. In my experience, you know you're onto a winner when they've got the Sega sticker on the on the edge of the case, but that that box porn. Beautiful condition. About as good about as good as you're gonna get a Mega Drive fucking box, that innit? You're not gonna get any better than that. Definitely not. Can't remember how much I paid. It was a good price. The other guy was selling a larger bundle and he, he wanted to move them on in threes, he said, so <coughs> you've got to be quick on these bundles. And this the reason why I got I dropped lucky with this one is that obviously I, 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 sorry, not obviously you don't know, but I work I work nights now, so it came through at an obscure time, at like six in the morning or something, so he must have got up early and just posted it on. So I says, right, I'll have these three. I think he did me them for 30 quid. I could be wrong. 30 feels good again. Um, anyway, it's, they're all in really, really nice condition again. And I mean nice condition. Uh, the Ubiquitous Space Area 2. Look at that. Lovely condition. Lovely condition cover as well. Really happy. Uh, Spot goes to Hollywood. Blue spine. Complete. Oh, yeah, sticker. The only thing is with this, might be able to get that off. Where was it again? It like got beat his price tag or serial tag. We're not car. I might be able to get it off. Um, but apart from condition wise, box condition absolutely beautiful. And the, <coughs> the third one. Probably best at bunch. X mutants. Again, they're all really good condition. These they really are. Really good, Nick. So that were a good deal. Yeah, I think that were. I think that were thirty. I think some good deals on there. You just got to prepare to, you know, bide your time. And look, right. So just lastly, going back to back to Donny. This guy here sold me these two. Another seller, forgive me, I can't remember. I'm so tired these days, I can't remember shit to be honest. Um, a game I'd been looking for anyway, which I don't have. <coughs> Definitely don't have. Road Rash 3. Remember this from back in the day, my mate had this one. Um, one of them electronic arts boxes. Complete with manual. Um, nice condition, really nice. And the other game he got. Now he let me have this one, dirt cheap. And he, I remember him saying to me, "When you've got, a, you've got an absolute bargain there." And I thought, ah, I thought it's a five, five quid game that. And it in, it's. I'm sure this. I'd have to double check now, but I'm sure this goes for about fifteen quid. 15, 20 quid, something like that. And it's Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. The only, the only problem is with this is the. I'll just check in his off. He, he had it price. He had it priced up at a tenner, but he, I'm sure he let me have it for something like a five of this. But it had the, if you look there, look, do you know the? It's under that. That at some point it's been in a shop. You can't get them fuckers off. Well, I don't know. If you know how to get them off, tell me. But I, I had wet, wet in that cover to try to get that off with, with normal, you know, lemon sticker remover. No chance. I don't know how to get it off. So please do. Anyone out there knows that, you know, get that back off that paper without knackering it. Let me know. But they were, you know, Nice to get, nice nice ads. Um, and then I saw this game, believe it or not, I'd never heard of this game. And it was priced up it was priced up at 35. So I quickly <laughs> I quickly looked and thought I thought fucking hell. It's even been it, there are even some people wanting 60 quid for this. 
I thought, I'm going to have to get it. See if I can shave. Anyway, got him down. I got a fiver off. Got the fiver off. Got him down to 30. And it's a Namco game, Burning Force. So this looks a little bit like, if on the back, it looks a little bit like Space Harrier type. Um, complete. Nice condition. The only issue with this, it's just a little, little bit loose. It won't stay shut, if you know what I mean. But yeah, there's not. I ain't seen that about. Not not that many of them. Definitely not. Um, so the last Mega Drive game then of the day. This was an impulse buy. In a fashion, because I had in the back of my mind, I just thought I'm gonna, I will get one big hitter on the day. I'm gonna, you know, one one to chalk off the list, as it were. Um, and like I said, I can't remember it's seller. It's, he's, I've seen him before, and he has like he's got all his standard fare at the front on the table, and then he has like one of them racks at the back that you can't really grab unless you with all real big boys on all uh, heavy hitters on there like I say I'm Mutant League Hockey and I think he had it up at 110 and it, I said let's have a look at it and honestly it was literally like it was hot off the press it was straight out of the factory mint mint mintiest game Mega Drive game anyway excuse me I've ever seen but he didn't want to budge on the price of that I don't know he wouldn't he just wouldn't have it uh, so I moved on to this and it's Streets of Rage 3. Um, so originally priced up at 90 uh, and I, I, I did a little bit of work on him uh, and we got him down to 80 eventually which I was well happy with, well happy with to be fair. And the reason why is because the game condition is absolutely A1, it really is. Really nice, really nice. It was a sound guy as well. He took like, uh, I mean, a lot of them take PayPal payments now, but you know, it's like a few people said. They, you, a lot of these sellers there, they, you know, the part the collectors themselves, they know what the game is, they know what the score is, and they're happy to do. You know, they are happy to do your deal. Um, so it was a little bit, you know, when when you when you're shelling so much out on a game, though, you come away, don't you think? Oh, you know, that were that were a big game. When I'd already bought most of this, you got to remember this was near, this was near last purchase as well. So I'm like, right, that's enough spending for today, Mark. <laughs> Walk away, time to go home. Well, I've been there an hour. I need another pint at that point. Um, so, but yeah, look, that's like I've said it before. Like I said, used to say with PS2, if you're collecting, I've put it out there. I'm going. I'm going for a full set. Whether or not I make it, I don't know, but I'm I'm going for it. So you've you've somehow got to find the money. You got to I mean a lot of people taking piss out of me saying, I'm a drug dealer. I'm not I can assure you I'm not. But what I am is that I work hard for a living, I do overtime, right? Uh and I sell a lot of stuff as well. Constantly selling. It's it's too it alas it does her head because there's I'm either there's parcels coming in. This parcel's going out. I've always got a parcel getting taped up or made, you know what I mean? So there's stuff getting flogged all the time. Um, I, I do realise I'm fully aware I'm spending a lot on uh, retro gaming. I know that, I know that. But I don't care. It's it's, it's my passion. It's my, I don't smoke or write a drink, but it's my passion. It's my hobby. It's more than an hobby. It's a way of life now. We've said it in the group. It's, it's a way of life. Um, it is what it is. And if my bills are paid, um, we can go on holiday, put a little bit away, that'll do for me. The rest can go on these, and it's as simple as. So that's the end of the Mega Drive. Now, like I say, as promised, the very last thing to show you, because I've just noticed we're pushing, what we're pushing? Oh, shit, you know, at 35 minutes. Sorry if I've waffled on a bit. It's my last bit of energy before I, I zonk out. Um, I think in the last pickup, I'd got the NTSC Saturn 
itself, the actual console, in cream with the uh, what's it called? Action replay cart and all that. My mate Dylan has sent very kindly. We did a bit of a minor trade, and I've got the the scat. The what's it called? I'm too tired. Anyway, it's it's the cable you need. He'll 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 remind me what it is. Um, can't remember. It's gone. Gone. It's gone. But what I want happy with, I couldn't. I couldn't sort of. I couldn't fall in love with the colour of the console, and the reason why is because I knew you could get the, the this grey and blue one, and I did. I've, so the the cream one's going out, the boxed one, and I've bought this loose uh, NTSC sign, but the grey and blue, the colour of what I should have got the first time round. Um, I think the reason why I got that cream one. It came up on Facebook, I'd got that one off Facebook, it was a good deal at the time and I, I, I sort of jumped on it a bit too soon, but I should have, should have just waited really. Anyway, so this came this morning, like I say, via UPS, really nice guy on Facebook, really nice, he's even chucked in a couple of extra games for nothing, really nice guy. I was going to buy the Virtua Stick off him as well, but someone just hit me to the post on that. Uh, and when I've when I've checked afterwards, uh, my mate Dylan says it it was probably a little bit rich that price anyway. So I want that fussed. So still bubble wrapped. <laughs> Quickly rag it out, but it shows me this is in beautiful condition. And if the pictures are to go by, it is, um, and it is. So it's the grey and blue one, which I should have got the first time round. Model, same one I think, HST-3200. HST um, I can tell straight away that this, anyway, is much better condition than the cream one. The problem is with the cream one, any knock or ding on it tends to show up more. And I just think, I just think this grey and blue is just a much... I don't know, it just looks better, doesn't it? It's just a, it's cool, isn't it? Look at it. Um, so, yeah. Got it a good price as well, to be fair. It were a buy it now, but it were a, it were a, it were a bloody good buy it now price. So I'll quickly show you, you get the, obviously the, the pad. Let's get it out, it says everything. Oh, look at that, he even chucked in a new battery. So, I can't even be asking you know, I'm just, sorry. <laughs> I can't be asking you know. It's in good condition, all right? Oh, it's the games I want to show. Look at that bundle of games. So I think in the picture, showing the picture, only had two games. So he said, I've chucked in a couple of extras for you. So I was telling him, got a bit of a chat saying I'm a collector. I won't even be able to pronounce most of these, to be honest, but what's this? Rig Lord Saga. Don't know what that is. Looks like a RPG of sorts. Um, what's this? Gale Racer. Put that in. Like a driving game. Yeah. Now remember this. This when my mate had a Saturn Pal one, obviously back in the day, we fucking played this game to absolute death, and even to this day, it's one of the best driving games on any system and I'll you know I'll, I'll fight in the corner all day long with that and it's Sega Rally and it's just an awesome awesome game I don't know if that's the same version as the PAL is it Championship 1995 is it the same version as the PAL one I don't know but really happy to get that uh, what's this Decathlete So like a decathlon type track and field jobby jobby game sort of thing. And then this is this the one that yeah, so this Soul Hackers, I think this is the game that uh Dylan said to Paul in. <laughs> but don't mind, I've you know I've got my 
I've got my collection started now, mate, and I've got that. Still got that one you give me, Dylan, as well. It's there, mate. I promise you. It's there. There, there. In its little sleeve. So sorry. That's that's the. What's the cable called? What's this connection? Anyway, that's it. That's the cable we got. I got off Dylan. That'll give me the best picture with the CRT TV that I haven't got room for. This is the only reason why I haven't shown it, guys. I can't. I can't get it up on there yet. I don't know where I'm going to put it. That's why it's not in here. Incidentally, which I got off Rob as well, which he incidentally gave me for fuck all for free at Donny. Um, so I'm, I'm good to go. It's just a case as I still need to do this rearranging in here with the tellies. Got one bracket, haven't done jack shit. I haven't been able to face putting them on the wall yet. So it's happening, it's still happening, it's in the pipeline. But I just haven't got around to it. Uh, so what are we at now? 40 minutes, right. I've waffled on enough. Sorry guys if I've bored you, but there's some pretty decent pickups there, weren't there? And some top lads, top lads doing some absolute proper deals. And one last thing is, yet yeah, I've stole your t-shirt, G. It's, I've stole it. I wanted it. Uh, so this is our mate. If you're not sub to him, sub to one of his multiple channels, Old School Variety Face. Or No Nonsense Reseller. Or fucking what's your other fucking channel called with some random content on it? God, fuck no, I can't remember. Top lad, um, part of our Taking Retro Liberties stream that we may be doing tonight, we may not be, I don't know, I don't know what the latest is on that. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this one mine, it was just accidentally left in the bag from Rob and I just thought I'm having that. It's not even my size, it's your size G, isn't it? 4XL. <laughs> Right, guys, I need to go to bed. I'm absolutely knackered. Thanks ever so much for watching. Please like, share, sub me, all the rest of it. And I will see you on the flip side. Take it easy. Long live the retro.